So returning to my old account, I see War Corpse is still retarded. I see most people are still retarded. And, you know, one particular video, which I'll link to in the description, I had to make a reply to. I, I know there's no need to do it. I'm not going to make anything out of it. But, you know, maybe if War Corpse listened to a communist once in a while, he might not have to be bellowing in his basement, uh, you know, failing at barbecue contests. Point is that, you know, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said uh, that, you know, socialism doesn't work, communism doesn't work, and took and gave credit to capitalism for the invention of government, I'd be even richer than I am now. Because, you know, it's, it's, uh, let me just give you an example. Uh, and War Corpse is not the problem. I don't hate War Corpse as a human being. He is just exemplifies everything that's wrong with the modern Western person. He is the living embodiment of the stupidity of the West. Now, let me express why he is so stupid. He is stupid because he claims that, you know, yeah, he even admits government didn't, uh, I mean, capitalism didn't create anything. Capitalism can't create anything. It can only market it. For example, electricity. Wasn't even Thomas Edison that invented electricity. Thomas Edison patented electricity, but he didn't invent electricity. And it wasn't even him that made it into a public utility. He wanted only rich people to have electricity because he knew rich people had money and he was going to get loads of money out of those rich people. So, Capitalism actually prevented electricity from reaching the average household for about 50 to 100 years. Let's go further. Capitalism did not invent clothing. Capitalism invented branding. Capitalism invented this idea that a brand, the, the brand logo on a clothing is more important than the actual style or usefulness of the clothing itself. So it's no longer about comfort. It's not even really about appearance. Because you aren't judging the person by how the outfit complements their character, but by the logo. And so they make billions of dollars off of themselves, off of their presence in the marketplace. How is that useful? And we could go even further than that. He brought up how capitalism will cure cancer. Actually, there are many suspicions that cancer has a cure, but they keep suppressing it. And it would make sense to suppress it, because if you were to invent a cure for cancer, you would completely demolish all of the medical facilities and all of the pharmaceutical companies that have treatments for cancer. They can't cure cancer, they just, it helps it a little. And if you were to invent a cure for cancer, that would destroy them. It would destroy the marketplace. Stocks would collapse. People would kill themselves. Investors would go crazy. It'd be a madhouse. They're not going to let that happen under capitalism because capitalism is not prepared for that. How could they be prepared for that? So they're not going to release it to the public. They're going to wean people into it by only allowing the super rich to have the cure for cancer. That's the way capitalism works. I'm not even saying that there is a cure for cancer and that there's a conspiracy holding it back. I'm saying given the market, the way the capitalist market works, that's what would happen. And you know, if fucking war corps and... And all these son of a bitches need to listen to me. I'm the one making bank now. I don't even need this account. I got another account. And this one technically has more subscribers. But I don't even fucking care what happens to it. I never hated moderators for, uh, you know, what they do to my finances. I hate them because they're criminals. They're terrorists and they're scumbags. But I don't need this channel. It's monetized. I don't need it. Take it. Fucking 
it, it's it's pocket change to me. Uh, you know, forget it. I'm an investor. I fucking I own Reddit now. That's why I can walk in with my balls hanging out, and there ain't shit they can do about it. I just spoiled Star Wars for hundreds of thousands of people. Han Solo dies. What the fuck can they do about it? Not Jack Dick. That's what. Because I'm Jim Profit, and now I'm making all the profits. And fucking, what about um, Chipotle? We'll see where that goes. Because you see on my other account now, I'm a shareholder of Chipotle. Fucking, you know. And who knows more about markets than this guy? You know, does War Corps know how the Wall Street works? Does War Corps know how the Shark Tank works? No, it doesn't know dick. Fucking. It, it comes down to dialectics. You'll learn more if you actually study the dialectical materialism than you will all this other bullshit, Hayek, Hobbes, whatever. Because the marketplace isn't something imaginary. It isn't something that we just put our faith into. And for someone that's so anti-religious, you sure are religious when it comes to Standing back and letting the market decide, letting the bourgeois decide. No, the market is people. And people will spend thousands, if not millions of dollars and lots of time and energy trying to figure out how they can control people. That's the marketplace. That's all the marketplace has ever been. Marxism is just as legitimate as a, a means to an end as Keynesianism or Austrian economics or whatever. All of these things try to define human conduct and material wealth gain production in a cohesive manner that, you know, provides people with optimal output. That's really what it comes down to. Marxism itself, individually, Marxism, predicted all that would transpire between the transition from feudalism to capitalism. Capitalism is just a new development of that class divide, of that class war that, you know, we talk about and then people get scared. Uh, you know, so we see capitalism evolve from feudalism. But what is capitalism evolving into? Marxist, uh, Marxism said that capitalism would evolve into socialism. But we're seeing that's not quite the case. He might have been right about one thing, but that doesn't necessitate he'll be right about the other. And it might be moving towards socialism, but not in such a way that he could have predicted because he was from the 18th century. So, what if we are moving towards socialism? Are we prepared for that? Are we willing to participate in a liberal socialism democracy Bernie Sanders cuckoldery? You know, obviously War Corps isn't. But more importantly, you know, what, what does it entail? And does it, is it going to be different for different cultures? Because obviously China's economy is very different than America's economy. It's a very different, you know, ball game. So there, there is so much to consider. And that's why economists, there's actually people dedicated to studying that. To studying just the raw numbers, and the fluctuation of the marketplace. Because, you know, it could turn out differently either way. And I've always said that from the start, that I'm not interested in trying to get you into a revolution. You're not going to. You're never going to be emotionally and physically prepared for a revolution. I just don't want there to be moderators. I do not want to live in a world that has moderators and evolves and develops into that cancerous, bellowing abomination of a marketplace that lets criminals and terrorists and child rapists, which all moderators are, you know, make bank. It's not going to happen. You know, so that's what I advocate. And most Marxists have at least some understanding of economics when they're actually Marxists, not these fucking wannabe liberal Maoist types. That's something else to get into and do a different video. I'm done.